How's it going everyone? Just Law here and welcome to the very best levels for the month of March and man did you guys deliver with over 200 levels to get through. It'll be a shame if you didn't check out the rank levels down in the description box below. So thanks to the update I had my hands full yet again. So thank you for those who send me a level code and for you to participate for the month of April all you gotta do is send that code into any of my Super Mario Maker videos and a way to respond sometime soon enough. So this channel has been primarily been focused on Super Mario Maker love but I want to expand to the entire Nintendo universe. So if you stick around with me each and every week you'll be sure to get hit with a quality Nintendo video for you guys the mystery video of the week which ranges from the five ways the Legend of Zelda can make Zelda Wii U the greatest game of all time to ranking the Smash Brothers DLC and even tackling on Tatsumi Kimishima himself. So enough of me promoting my stuff, let's get down to the countdown, shall we? Number 10 Let's start off this countdown with an obligatory level that uses the new update to show you that I in fact played your levels for this month. Smashing Skewered Castle is a perfect example of the overall theme is for this ranking and that is patience. If you take the time to play through this level you'll be able to beat it no problem and if you pay attention to the small details you'll understand why this level has great level design, great use of skewers and keys all wrapped into one. Smashing Skewered Castle is the type of level I will base most of the following levels that have skewers and one that should study for in order for you to make some more skewer centric levels. Number 9 So with a clear rate of 7% and it's a dungeon level and it almost looks like a Kaizo looking Mario level, why is the level so highly regarded? Well simply put, the level designer made smart tactical decisions on putting the skewers and platforms so that people who are experts can breeze through this level but without making a speedrun event out of it. Now when people are making dungeon levels, it seems like they automatically want to make it the hardest thing they have in their collection, which isn't a bad thing, but when I'm out here doing one trick jumps that you expect me to do once and only once, I might not be able to get to it each and every time. But if you give me the time and patience to want to get through this level, then you might consider yourself in the very best levels in Super Mario Maker. And I don't have to replace my gamepad for the sixth time. Number 8 I don't usually look for theme levels each and every month as I like to make my list full of timeless levels that can go back at any time and play. But Yoshi's Candy Land is so colorful and full of life that I couldn't help but put this in. I mean I absolutely love the little details in this level. You search for the red coins to finish and for added immersion I say eat some bowl of candy and take your time on playing this level. Now if Nintendo can produce Yoshi peeps for Easter, then life will be complete. Number 7 Take a second and list to me the greatest underwater levels you have ever played in Super Mario Maker. No seriously, take a second and see if you can come up with something. Because I am sure this level right here will automatically become your number one greatest underwater level of all time. No no no, don't panic because it is an underwater level and has an auto scroll section. If you play through this level and beat it, you'll understand why it's ranked so highly. It's not even just because of the fact it is an underwater level, which it kind of helps, but the fact of the matter is this level has a lot of great ideas going behind it without making it seem like a bunch of clunky ideas smashed together to make one level. No, it all works cohesively as one unit. And you might want to steal a couple of these ideas for your future best level countdown. Number 6 I gotta start implementing some sort of feature in my videos where if you've been ranked before you are automatically disqualified for making too many great levels and having people just follow you until you make a new level because Bodie McBoatface Bosses already has one of the greatest titles I've ever read and has the most visually appealing bosses that I've ever encountered in Super Mario Maker. If Mario Maker was full of levels like this, I would just start up a top 10 Mario Maker creators you should follow. And I am sure Tom would be on that list as well. Number 5 Whoa, 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 a Japanese level. This close to the number one? Jalau, are you insane in the membrane again? Just Jalau. We'll talk it over with the therapist tomorrow morning, okay? Now get to the list. Fine then. Well, the thing about Super Mario Maker is the language of awesome levels design doesn't necessarily need to be put through Google Translate. Most people will duck and hide when they see that kanji. 
So don't try to do the American thing and try to outsmart this level. Take it nice and easy and do what the level's trying to tell you through level design. See, maybe someday we'll start to accept more Japanese levels in our lives. But for right now, this level comes in number nana. See, I do know Japanese. Just allow get to the list, damn it. Number four. This level goes out to the people who didn't pick up Triforce Heroes <clears throat> like me because this is a compacted version of the game and has got the puzzles, the links, the Triforce. When you are doing the dungeons themselves, you are literally seeing the Triforce come together one by one bit. And if you already got Triforce Heroes, I might recommend returning that game sometime soon so you can pick up Super Mario Maker that's on the second shelf right over there. No, the second shelf. To your right. Yeah, that one right there. And you can toss those two friend codes and just put that one level code and enjoy. Number three. Backtracking has never been this visually appealing before. You make your way across, you guessed it, four seasons through the Mushroom Kingdom. You go through summer, autumn, winter, and spring. And if that's not enough, someone finally used the bird sound effect the way it should have been used for. And I see little small details like that and I love it. Number two. Super Mario Maker has a problem right now in that too many players are wanting to speedrun each and every single course they get to. And when you come across the level that demands your attention and gets an abysmal clear rating and the occasional, your level sucks, I hate it. So when I came across Zelda 2 Master Quest Parappa Palace, part of Jenny's obsession and wanting me to love Zelda 2, I couldn't help but admire the amount of details this level has. So take the time to celebrate Zelda's 30th anniversary, because Nintendo won't. Play Zelda 2 or this level and tell me which one you enjoy the most. Number 1 The recreations of recreations, this is how you show two franchises love by taking a little bit of what makes them great into one level. You have the platforming and brick breaking ability in Mario, you have the exploration in Zelda, and you combine them together and you have this beautiful bundle of joy that is called Zelda Ocarina of Time the Shadow Temple. Pal 2 must be one happy parent for making this level because I am. If you want to celebrate Zelda's 30th anniversary in Super Mario Maker, then bookmark this level and start showering it with rupees or stars or whatever currency you have. So there you guys have it is the absolute best levels in Super Mario Maker for the month of March and because of the update I saw a lot of great levels that were unfortunately pushed back but are still available for you to play down in the description box below all bookmarked hope you enjoy them remember that the more people that see this the more stars you'll get so get to sharing those views stars codes and more thank you for making this series possible and thank you for enjoying it as much as I have been making them but I would truly appreciate if you check out my mystery videos of the week I tackle on Splatoon, Smash Brothers, 5 Ways the original Zelda games can make Zelda Wii U the greatest game of all time, and more. Because I want to give you unique Nintendo quality videos instead of just let plays every week and discussions. So help me make this channel for what it is today by simply watching, commenting, liking, or all three it really helps me out. Now remember, once we get 300 subs and 30,000 plus views, we'll get another live Mario Maker creation stream and a special update video where you'll help me make a special video for the end of the week. This was Just Lyle, enjoying the stuff you've been making, and I'll check you guys in the next one. Peace!